Hey everybody, what's up? Dave here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving headfirst into the world of vinyl collecting, a topic very near and dear to my heart. Whether you're a seasoned audiophile or just starting out, I've got five essential tips to help you build a collection that you'll cherish for years to come. And be sure to stick around to the end for a special bonus tip. So you're ready to embark on the amazing journey of vinyl collecting. That's awesome. But before you run off to the nearest record store, let's figure out what kind of collector you are. Are you all about quantity, aiming to build a massive library of every genre imaginable? Or are you more of a quality over quantity type, focusing on pristine pressings and rare finds? Maybe you're on the hunt for those elusive limited editions and obscure artists that only true vinyl enthusiasts know about. You know, like that rare pressing of Dark Side of the Moon with the pyramids embossed on the cover. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Or perhaps you're a bargain hunter at heart, always on the lookout for a steal, even if it means embracing the character of pre-owned records. And there's no right or wrong answer here, so figuring out your collecting style is the first step to curating a collection that truly reflects your musical tastes. Okay, tip number two, setting a budget. All right, now that we've got a handle on your collecting style, let's talk about something crucial, your budget. Just like guitars, for example, you can find really affordable vinyls and you can also find ones that are outrageously priced. Trust me, I've been down that rabbit hole and it can get dangerous for your wallet, especially when you're chasing those limited edition releases or battling it out on record store day. Speaking of which, if you're serious about vinyl, you have to check out record store day. It's basically like Christmas morning for vinyl lovers. Mark your calendars because it's only once a year. Local record stores get these exclusive releases and let me tell you, things can get pretty wild. But seriously, set a budget and stick to it. Vinyl collecting, of course, should be fun, not a financial burden. When it comes to vinyl, the condition of your records is crucial. It might be tempting to amass a huge collection, but focusing on quality will give you a better listening experience. And here's why. A record with deep scratches or warps can significantly affect sound quality. You might hear pops and skips or distortion that can ruin the music. Look for records that are in excellent condition, no major scratches or visible dirt. Even if the record looks good visually, don't hesitate to give it a quick spin on a turntable to ensure that it sounds clean. And invest in a record cleaning kit and store your records properly to maintain their condition. Keep your records in anti-static sleeves and store them upright to prevent warping. Quality vinyl doesn't just mean the condition of the disc itself, but also how it's been stored and cared for. This way your collection will remain tip top shape for years to come. Okay, this next tip is super important. Buy what you love. Don't let anyone pressure you into buying albums just because they're considered classics or because they're hyped up in the vinyl community. For example, some collectors will swear up and down that you need Miles Davis's Kind of Blue album. And yeah, it's a fantastic album, no doubt. But if you're not into jazz, you're not going to vibe with it, then what's the point? It'll just end up gathering dust on your shelf. And the same goes for any genre or artists. Your vinyl collection should be a reflection of your musical journey, not someone else's. So whether it's classic rock, heavy metal, hip hop, punk, classical, anything in between, by the music that speaks to your soul. Let's talk about patience. Building a killer vinyl collection takes time. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Don't feel like you have to have hundreds of records right off the bat. Some of the most impressive collections I've ever seen were curated over decades. Think about it like this. Each record tells a story, and as your collection grows, so does your musical narrative. And choose albums that you'll listen to from beginning to end albums that you'll want to revisit time and time again. And hey, if you come across an album with only one or two songs you like, maybe just download those tracks and save your hard-earned cash for something you'll truly appreciate. And here's that bonus tip I promised you, a word of caution about soundtracks. Now don't get me wrong, I love a good soundtrack just as much as the next person, but here's the thing. Soundtracks can be deceiving. You might get caught up in the excitement of a movie that you just saw and think, oh, I have to have that vinyl. But then you get home, you give it a spin, and you realize it's not something you'll listen to very often. And remember what we talked about in the last tip, patience and choosing albums you'll love for the long haul. Soundtracks can be awesome additions to your collection, but just make sure you're not buying them on impulse. Be selective, my friend. 
And there you have it, folks. Five essential tips plus a bonus tip to kickstart your vinyl collection. Remember, building a great collection is all about finding what you love, setting a budget, and being patient. So get out there, explore some record stores, and start building your dream collection. And hey, while you're at it, let me know in the comments what your top tips are for starting a vinyl collection. I'd love to hear from you. And of course, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. I can't wait to see you all at the next one. Take care.